Hey guys, it's Sebastian. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a good amount of products that are being sold right now. These are not potential winning products, but products that are already doing five or six figures per month, which makes them proven. I'll also be covering how I found these products because it used to take me weeks to find great products, but this whole list that I'm gonna show you guys, it took me around 10 minutes, which is extremely fast considering, again, it used to take me quite a long time to find good products. Now, before I show you guys everything, all I ask is that you guys leave a like and click subscribe, but now that that is out of the way, let's get into this video. Before I show you guys, all of the products I have planned for this video. I want to show you how I find the products and how I found the products for this video and then moving forward, how I do find a lot of the products that I'm now testing for Q4. I use a website called dropaspy.com. Essentially, it just pulls all of the Facebook ads that are currently being ran. You can also do a lot of filters on this website. So I normally just do comments over 150. So I'll show you guys. I do text 50% off or sometimes I'll do it like get yours here or buy now or something like that or like free worldwide shipping because those are common terms that people use in their dropshipping ad copy. And then I also do language to English. I don't do age or anything like this. I do edit to the comments though. I put it to 100 to 150, something around there, and then see if there are any good ads being ran with over 100 comments because it, it automatically does that for you. You can also do likes, shares, all of that stuff. And then you can do domain, e-com platform, a lot of cool stuff. So my main things that I do is just, again, the text and then the uh, comments, and that's basically it, and then language. And so from there, uh, these are all ads that have been ran. It's September 9th when I'm filming this video, and if you guys can see right here, this is the last seen date, which means the ad is active right now, which is a good sign. That shows that the product is still being ran, and it's been going since March 26th. And so I just basically come on here every single day and go through a lot of these different keywords, like some other ones I'll do is like free worldwide shipping, uh, we can click that one right now and I'll show you guys some other products that are selling well right now because there are a lot. Free worldwide shipping doesn't have as many active ads right now, but nonetheless, this is just a great tool that I currently use and I'm checking it every single day because I do want to do quite a bit of revenue and in order to do so, I do need quite a few products to scale up. So this is a great tool that I'm using every single day to find products. There is another website called AdSpy that does basically the same thing, but it's $150 per month, which if you're starting out with dropshipping, that's a lot of money. This one's just $15 per month. Um, um, so it's not expensive at all. And if you find one good product a month, that's more than pays for the membership on um, the $15 charge. So yeah, I'll have a link in the description for that. But now that that is out of the way, let's get into all of these products. The first one's going to be this little star projector lamp. Now it's not the traditional one that you guys might be thinking about. It's a more childish one, which I know may be a little bit odd, but it is still really cool. So I'm going to play this video ad and show you guys. So that's essentially what it does. It has these little films that you can drop into it, like right there, and you can have different designs. So I'm pretty sure it comes with multiple ones, uh, depending on what kind of style you want. So that one has sea creatures, and then you just have you know, quite a few options. So this is a pretty cool product. This product has some really good engagement as well. It has 257 comments and then 185 shares and then 834 likes, which is great. The important thing that I'm always doing when I'm potentially going to sell a product is I go into the comments and see, are people roasting the product? Are they saying it's bad quality? Are they saying that the they love the product or what's, what's the deal? So I go through and right here, someone says ours just arrived and wow, my daughters love it. We'll definitely order more. Got them for my granddaughter and grand, uh, grandson. Only problem, it should have a top more for boys. So I don't know exactly what he, oh, the top, uh, the top little film thing. So that's pretty cool. And then little kids would love this. Uh, a lot of just questions and people saying that they've bought it. So that's great. Someone also mentioned that they are starting Christmas shopping and they commented that on this product, which means that it could be a great product to potentially scale for Q4. Now that was their Facebook ad, but this is the product page for this product. Now this is definitely a page builder app. I'm not sure exactly which one. My team currently uses Gem Pages and it works really well for us, but this looks really good. They have a GIF right here that displays the product really easily. And then they have a lot of outlines for the product, multifunctional, patterned lighting, uh, lighting effect, rechargeable and tons of cool features and then they have a nice little photo right here I'm assuming this also has a speaker because they have these musical notes right here so I'm not positive but I yeah I mean there's a plus button right there so I'm going to assume this also has a, a speaker which is awesome and then they have these reviews right here I'm going to assume they just wrote these because it's a funnel and there's no way to submit reviews here so that's that overall the site looks good they have these bundles right here to try and increase their AOV which is smart for them. Oh, they actually have a lot more. So I don't know what the difference is between these two. 
Um, yeah, I'm not really sure, but nonetheless, the website looks really good. The theme this store is using is Turbo, but it doesn't really matter just because they're using a page builder app. So they don't even need a good theme. They just literally do a page builder and that's that. Okay, this next product is called the Udi. I'm not sure what that means, but as you guys can see, this ad is essentially just people unboxing the, it's a sweatshirt that is huge. So it's like one size fits all. Now let me rewind here because I'm not sure if this is drop shipping or not because they have that branded little bag for the product. But if you like, we'll go to their website and it's really bad. It's not good at all. Um, actually it's decent, but it could be better, which has me a little confused as to if it's drop shipping or not. Um, so I'll have to go through their shipping page and see, but yeah, it's a big oversized hoodie that you can put your knees in and you're so comfy, blah, 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 whatever. It's selling really well. This ad has 406 comments, 319 shares, 480 likes. So that's really good. And then if we go down, we're trying to look for people that have already bought the product and are commenting saying that they like it. So right here, ordered one Thursday as a gift. It arrived today, hooray, she loves it. And this is a woman who is very discriminating when it comes to wrapping up in something cozy, well done. That's a good sign that shows that the product is of quality and then in turn, you could potentially sell something similar now that you've verified that it's a pretty decent product as far as quality goes. I would still suggest you order the product, but that is a good first step. Here's the Udi website, and I believe this is just the debut theme, which I personally don't use the debut theme anymore, but here it is, it just has a pretty generic homepage, and then they do have some nice photos, I'm not going to lie. They have great photos with all of the products. They all have models wearing the product, and they're different poses, different people, so it looks great. It does give off the brand feel, so I'm not sure, again, if it's dropshipping or not. And then on their homepage, they also have a ton of reviews, which is awesome. Just gives a lot of trust into the potential consumers. So that's great. And then their footer looks amazing. And they have 1300 reviews on Trustpilot, I believe. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so it's Trustpilot. When I go to Commerce Inspector, which is a Chrome extension, it shows that uh, August they got 300,000 plus website visits. For myself, I generate five to $10 per web visit. Some people generate $2. So even if they're on the low end or and are doing one to $2, that's still 300 to $600,000 monthly revenue, which is amazing for this product. Now it is a bit general, which is good to scale. So that's probably why they're able to do such big numbers when their website is not even set up the best. So that's the product, it's pretty cool. And I do suggest if you guys are looking into selling any product, these types of comfy products are gonna sell really well during this Q4, just because a lot of people are still at home and the winter is going to come into play, which means that people are going to need warmer clothing. So that's a great product. And let's move on to the next one. This next product is one of the more traditional dropshipping products. So we'll get the video ad started. And as you guys can see, if it will load, let's rewind this. But if you guys can see, it's a egg peeler. So if you hard boil your eggs, you can press it in this little device and it will take the shell off the egg somehow, which that's a big headache that a lot of people have, including myself. If I have a hard boiled egg and I try to peel off the shell, I normally just peel off a lot of the egg itself. So this saves a lot of people time and it keeps a lot of food on the actual egg itself. Because again, I peel off the eggs rather than the shells, which is bad. So great product. It has great engagement as well, over 2000 likes, which is a good sign. 162 comments, 363 shares. Now the main thing we wanna look at is finding people who are commenting saying they bought it. Now that I've scrolled through these comments though, a lot of them do look like they are from worldwide, which if you're running engagement ads worldwide, you can get really cheap likes and comments, which is cool for social proof, but it's not really valuable for sales. So this may be a bad sign that the product maybe isn't the best. Um, and I wanted to include this one just because I wanted to show you guys that this is something that you guys should all be doing. Here's the product page. It looks decent. I would definitely do something else. And then this sticky add to cart is not the most obvious. So I would change the color, but overall they are highlighting the key points. I mean, the product's pretty self-explanatory. And if you can just get your point across and tell the people that it's a cool product and that they're kind of missing out like exactly this. <laughs> That's literally my situation where you peel off the eggshells and it's a mess and it takes forever. So if you can just get that point across and tell people like you need this product, then you can get a lot of people to buy it. Now with the Commerce Inspector Chrome extension, you can actually see how many products they're adding to their website, which makes it apparent that it's a big general store. So all time they have all these best selling items, but if you scroll down, they've added so many products just today. They've added this leather the repair, uh, whatever it may be, this one, this product, this product, just in the past 13 hours, that's already five products. So they're definitely testing a lot of products, which is what a lot of general stores are doing right now. So it's not a bad thing. One thing I would definitely do is keep track of this Facebook page that's running this product, which I would just type in macro shop 
uh, shop mall, I think that's what it's called, and then see what products they end up scaling because that will be a good sign as to if the product is selling or not. This next product is a brush that spins so it cleans off surfaces really well if you're using it for your sink, your desk, your bathtub or shower, microwave like they just showed in their video. Now this is a cool product because it actually extends out so it's great for older people who are looking to clean up and they maybe can't reach some certain area so they don't have to bend over and hurt their back potentially so that's why they're buying this product. Now this one is a great video ad. It's definitely more like infomercial type of ad but it looks really good and it demonstrates the product really well and it also comes with some different tips dependent on the surface that they need to clean. So overall it's a pretty cool video ad. Now the crazy part about this video ad is the engagement. It has seven 2,800 comments, 10,000 shares, 33,000 likes. I run stores and I run products and scale them to like quarter million months and I don't even have this sort of engagement on my ads. So seeing this, I know that they're at least doing seven figures with the product and they've been running it for quite some time because again, this is a product whose ads were active today. It's not like I found the product and it was running last month. The product is still being ran. So we'll go through some of the comments and see if people buy it. So right here, uh, yes, it really saves your back when cleaning the shower area. So that's a good comment. And then let's see what else. Uh, anything we're, we're mainly just seeing people who are saying that they bought it. I think I'll get one I have a walk-in shower and it is a pain in the butt to clean by hand So that's another good sign There are just a lot of people who are commenting saying they want to buy the product basically all these comments are towards women So I don't know if they're running it just towards women or what's but women normally clean more than men if I'm just being honest here um, So this could be a good product you scale up and sell to a lot of women and they see it as an investment So if they buy this product, they're gonna have an easier time cleaning the house or cleaning wherever they're cleaning Which is great. So this is another good product and we'll go to their website this does look like the booster theme, which works decently well if you know how to structure it. You just don't want to make it look super spammy, but this one looks good. It doesn't look overly spammy, um, so that's that's good. But yeah, nonetheless, it's a great website. They don't have any videos showing off the product, which is something I would do. I would embed something right here or right here, just showing a little quick demonstration. But they do go over a lot of the key points for the product and then what you should clean with and then all the stuff that is included. And then they also have added reviews, which is great. I would definitely suggest adding more because this is not enough reviews. We live in a day and age where Amazon is dominating the e-commerce world and people have tens of thousands of reviews on some of their listings on Amazon. So if we plan to compete with them, we need to have a lot more reviews on our stores. So that's something I would suggest, but nonetheless, great product and you can definitely sell this right now. Okay, this next product, let me rewind the video. It resembles that one back stretcher uh, posture product that I showed you guys a few weeks ago. So this is another one that looks really promising. I know for myself, this product would probably work really well because I should sit like this and have my neck supported, but in reality, I'm hunched over working like this. So it probably puts a lot of strain on my neck, which means I should stretch out my neck more. So this could be a good product to sell to myself or sell to other people who work in chairs, especially right now, because a lot of people are still home working. So this is a cool product to sell. The engagement on this ad is really good. It has 2.7 thousand likes and then 404 comments, 592 shares. I'm looking to see if they have people who are commenting saying that they bought it. So right here, someone says, I got this product and my neck feels so much better, especially using it after work at the computer all day or after working at the computer all day. Something else I found that feels better after using this is my ears and throats. My allergies have been terrible this year and have made my ears feel horrible and achy at times. I spend five minutes on this and it helps to, like it opens it up more to let them drain better inside. Was not expecting that, but it's so nice. That's a really dense review of the product, but that helps convert a lot of people into purchasers when they are looking at your video ad. There's also another one right here. I've had this for a month now and I use it almost every day before sleep. Uh, with my cervical pain under control, I got to say it's pretty good so far. So these are building up a lot of trust with this brand. And now let's go to the website and see what it looks like. So we'll click over to that. Okay, so I'm on the website and it looks kind of weird. They should have a FAQ page or a contact us or something in the header but they don't and all of the colors are pretty bland. The add to cart is a uh, dark gray, so that looks weird. And then these look pretty blurry, so I don't really know. The website's kind of iffy. I would definitely do it a little differently. I like this photo though, but that's a little over-exaggerated. I'm not sure if people actually drive like that, but it does look decent. This is really blank right here though, so they definitely should look into getting a different theme or using a page builder to fill out this white space because it just looks horrible on this a theme so far. So overall, I mean, it's a decent website. I wouldn't say it's the best. And then they do have these reviews right here, which only a few of them have photos. So I would definitely suggest that they would get more reviews. I'm a little confused because the title does say neck right. And then down here they do have 
the stickers on the product, but I'm uh, again kind of confused because the website is called The Body Therapy, so not really sure if they're stealing someone else's product and they have all that branding as someone else, like it's someone, some other website doing it. I'm not really positive. Overall though, this is a great product. If you sell a product that solves someone's physical pain, it really sells well. This is one that will help out if people have neck pain, so definitely look into selling this product. But let's move into the next one. This next product, it's basically a broom. Let me rewind this. So it's basically a broom, but right here, it has that device right there that sticks all the hair and pushes it down, which is great. And then it also has that folding or like it can angle to get any sort of corners and stuff. So that's a great product. It solves a big problem that a lot of people have. The great part about this product, it's very generic. It's not like it's super niche. So you can sell this to a lot of people and have pretty high revenue with a product. And so what we're gonna do is go through this engagement and see exactly who's like this. And actually someone I'm friends with on Facebook has, so that's kind of weird. But it has 495 comments, 624 shares, and 3.6 thousand likes, which is great. And then if we go through these comments, someone asked, where is it shipped from? And they said, more fast. And that's a weird response, so I'm going to, <laughs> I don't even know, this doesn't even sound like the person speaks English really. Uh, and then they say, yeah, instead of yes, like they don't sound professional. So that's a, that's a little weird. Um, makes you headache. I think that was in your video ad. So it's, I don't know this, the page that's running this product is replying really weird. They're also saying it's made in the USA, which I'm pretty skeptical about because of the fact that close to nothing's made in the USA. So we'll go to the website. I'm almost positive these brooms are not made in the USA because this is just a generic Brooklyn theme and it doesn't even like they haven't set it up properly. It doesn't look amazing to where it's going to be generating a lot. Of, I, maybe it actually could be generating a lot of money, but the product is cool. The only issue is they have a bad Facebook page and their website is not the best. This product has a ton of potential. It's doing well for whoever's running the product, but the issue is the website is not the best. The Facebook page, I don't even know why they're replying so weird. Like they're saying, yeah, instead of yes. They're saying it's made in the USA when it's definitely not because it's a dropshipping store. So definitely look into selling this product because again, it's very general, which means you can scale the product up a lot. The issue with a lot of products when you dropship them is that they are very niche specific, meaning your target audience is very small compared to stuff like this, which it's, it's almost like every woman who cleans needs one of these products. So to sum things up, it's a pretty cool product. This next product is this cat backpack, which is pretty cool. I would personally buy it if my cats weren't psychopaths. Um, because I couldn't put either of them in this, but holds up to 25 pounds. It's a cool looking bag. And if you're looking to take your pet anywhere, this definitely could solve that problem. Now, I was shocked when I saw the engagement for this product because again, it does solve a problem, so it's probably selling well. But the mind boggling part about it was that it had 13,000 likes, 5,700 comments, 4,100 shares, which 4,000 shares is a lot of shares. So I went through it and a lot of people are saying that they've bought the product. So I have one and can say, I love it. Same thing for my cat. He's always in the bag asking for a walk. Great comment. I want to get one where, uh, where are you taking the cats? Um, this would be awesome. So a lot of people are excited for the product and are thinking about potentially getting it. People are saying my Christmas gift question, uh, question mark enters credit card information. So a lot of people are definitely interested in the product, which is amazing. That's what you wanna see when you're doing product research. You wanna see interest in the product. So I went onto the website and it's kind of odd because they don't send you directly to the product page, which if you run a dropshipping store or you run any store, you should definitely send them to where they're looking to buy the product. You don't wanna ever send them to a homepage like this where it doesn't even have a buy now button or like a shop now. They have to scroll down and then look at the product and see which one they were just viewing. And maybe it was this one, maybe it was this one. I'm not really sure. Uh, so the, yeah, I don't even know. Oh, this is a large one, this is a small one. So you have to actually go through and find which one you're selling. I personally think just send it to the product page. It's not gonna hurt your conversion rate. We'll increase it a lot. These photos are a little blurry, so I would definitely suggest getting better content. You can probably find this product on Amazon or something, Amazon Prime it, and then get some good shots just like this. And then they have a lot of positive reviews, which is what you want to see when you're looking into selling a product. You wanna make sure the product you're selling is of quality. The last thing you want is to scale a product and have it not be good quality, which I've dealt with that and it's not worth any money at all because you wanna make sure your customers enjoy your product and service and website overall. I'll show you guys one more product I found from Dropaspy and then I'll also get into a website I found on Dropaspy that's testing so many products, it's kind of insane. So we'll get into the last product right now. This next product is this waterproof military tactical jacket. It looks cool and it's waterproof and a lot of these jackets do sell well. I've seen some other ones sell well. I've also seen leather jackets sort of similar to this sell pretty well. So I do think that it is, again, a great product and it's doing some solid numbers. So it has almost 3000 likes, 221 comments and 804 shares, 
which is good to see. There are a lot of questions that people are asking. Is it breathable fabric? Where uh, made wear, ship from wear? And they're not even answering the question. So I would definitely suggest if you're running a product or running a store, either hide the comments or answer them, but don't just go unanswered because that looks pretty bad. Um, so nonetheless though, this is a cool product and <laughs> some people are saying it looks a little suspicious and a lot of people ask which country it's made from. So if you're selling clothing, you definitely need to let people know where it's coming from. Okay, so I'm on their website and this looks like AliExpress. Like this whole header looks like AliExpress. This button right here looks like AliExpress. It's really weird. And then um, overall the theme, I don't really like the way this is set up. I was going to use Commerce Inspector right here to see what theme they're using. It's apparently not even a Shopify store. That is kind of odd because Shopify dominates this marketplace, but nonetheless, it's a cool product. You definitely could sell it well. The only thing is, it's $30 and they're running it for $30 and they've been selling the product for quite some time. So in order to sell this product, you probably need to source it for under $10 and that's including shipping, which shipping clothing can get a little bit expensive because it is a little big. So I'm not really sure how that would work out, but this definitely could be a good product to sell. I'm now gonna show you guys a website that's testing a lot of products and it's a drop shipping website. First, I wanna show you guys how I found it. So on Drop a Spy, you can come on here and you can filter on shops. That's what I clicked. You can go by best drop shipping shops and I just click that. And then this one popped up, so we'll let this load. This one, Hygo Shop, I can click to it. One of the cool features is they show you all the Facebook ads that this website's running. So a lot of these aren't even active, which is kind of bad to see, but I actually went on their Facebook page and they're testing a lot of products. So if you guys want, you can just Google or look on Facebook Hygo Shop and it should pop up. Here's the interesting part. So I clicked Commerce Inspector. They're doing over 100K per month in clicks, which is good sign. They're doing over six figures. And then when I click through to products, I can scroll down and show you guys that they are launching quite a few products. So today they've launched one, two, three products. And then a day ago, they launched another one. Four days ago, they launched another product and it just keeps on going. They're launching products very, like very consistently, which is not normally what people do when they're starting drop shipping. They test one product and then they run it for a few weeks and if it doesn't work well, then they get out of drop shipping and say it was dead, which is, I've seen that happen so many times and it's, it's pretty funny because you see stuff like this where this website's doing at least six figures per month and you realize the amount of work that goes into it if you want to consistently pull in a lot of revenue. Like after 13 days, which is a little less than two weeks, they have tested probably 20 products, which is more products than a lot of people test in a whole year. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys do want to again, check out Drop a Spy, I'll have a link in the description for that. And it is an affiliate link. I just want to make that clear, but it's a very easy way to find a lot of products. I'm currently using it to find a ton of products for Q4 to scale up and test and figure out which products I can end up getting to multi six figures and maybe seven figures per month. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like and click subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys have any questions, video recommendations or concerns, you can always drop those in the comment section below. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.